Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of Test Project. And in this video, I'll be talking about Test Project's JavaScript Open SDK support. And Test Project already supports almost three other languages other than JavaScript like Java, C Sharp, Python. And this JavaScript is another addition to Test Project ecosystem. And this JavaScript is an Open SDK supported, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, these languages like Java, C Sharp, Python, and JavaScript, these all languages are already supported by Test Project. And it's quite cool to see that there are more and more languages being supported by Test Project and it's keep increasing based on the requirement that you really have to run the test on Test Project's platform. So we'll see how we can work with JavaScript language binding this time. So in order to work with the JavaScript Open SDK, you will see that in Test Project, they already have a repo which actually tells you what's really happening on the JavaScript space. And you will see that there are so many informations available. We'll cover most of them, whatever is being discussed over here. All we need to do or understand is we need to install this particular packages, which is nothing but the TPIO or Test Project IO slash JavaScript hyphen Open SDK and start working with it. I mean, the coding is pretty much exactly the same Selenium code even that you can create from the Selenium JavaScript code that you have or WebDriver IO code that you have. Just copy paste it. And the only change that we need to do is to start using what is called as the test projects token and probably the job name or the project name. That's it. That's the only change that we need to do in terms of the coding. But other than that, you will be seeing the code is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Again, the same automatic reporting and automatic screenshots, execution on the test project platforms, all those things are going to be applicable for this JavaScript language binding as well. So let's quickly see everything in action. So for that, I'm first going to create a new directory here. And I'm going to call this as test project JS. And I'm going to go inside this particular folder and I'm going to open the Visual Studio code. And then I'm going to create a package.json file. And this package.json file, I'm going to add the dev dependencies where I'm going to add pretty much exactly like what I just showed you, which is nothing but the at tpio, which is nothing but the test project io slash javascript slash open SDK. And then if you just do control space, you will see that the versions is this one, which is currently being supported. And I'm just going to save this. That's it. And once it is there, I can then do an NPM install to install the package, which is nothing but the test project package. That's it. And then we're going to start writing the code over here. So in order to start writing the code, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cheat by creating some of the test cases using the Selenium's IDE. So I'm not even going to really go and write my own code from Selenium. I'm just cheating as if like I have already written my code in Selenium and I'm gonna copy paste that code within the test project tests. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna click this. I'm gonna record the new test. I'm gonna call this as first test, something like that. And the site is nothing but probably the eaapp.somi.com website, and then I'm gonna start recording. That's it. And once I start recording, you will see that the page is gonna come up. I'm gonna click this login page, and then I'm gonna enter the username as admin and password as password. I'm gonna click this login button. I'm gonna go to the employee list, and then I'm gonna create new. I'm gonna call this as tpjs user. His salary is probably 10,000 worked one and grade is one and his email address is tpjsuser at ea.com i'm gonna hit create and then i'm gonna log off that's it this is the only recording that i'm gonna do and you will see that the ide is going to record everything for us which is all cool and now i'm just going to export this particular code to probably javascript and mocha and you can see that this is also available in the selenium's ide and then I'm gonna export this guy. So this is the generator code which has been coming up from the Selenium IDE. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rename this to probably firsttest.js. And you can see that everything is coming up, generated by the Selenium IDE, which is all cool. And I'm not gonna use the describe it block yet. I'm just going to probably use the normal 
async method, something like this. You know, remove them all. Then I also need to quit the browser. So I'm just going to say driver.quit. That's it. This is the only code that I have got. But the main change that we are going to be doing here is in order to use the JavaScript language, pretty much like how we did with the Java or C sharp language before, we are going to replace the Selenium's web driver to our test projects library that is the only change because as we know this is an open sdk the only change that we are going to be doing is that part right so in order to do that i'm just going to do this const of is equal to require i am not going to require the selenium web driver of the chrome rather i need the test projects open sdk and i need the builder from that that's it that's the only thing which i really require and once I have this particular piece, I can then probably even remove this by key and this builder from the Selenium, which I don't want because that's the builder which I'm going to be using from the test project open SDK. And I'm just going to leave this guy as it is because even the by class is something I'm going to be using from Selenium. That's it. This is the only change that which I'm going to be doing over here. And once I have this, I can then start running the test. You can see that this is super easy, right? So that is the only change we are going to be making over here. In order to run this test, all we're going to do is this node of the first test.js. I guess it says that the require is not a function. So probably let me add the semicolons and try running it. And we get the actual error. So this error, it says that there is no developer token found. Did you set it on the TP dev token environment variable? or are you going to use it within the code and again the best practice which is recommended for the ci cd is to set the dp dev token on the environment variable rather running it over here i mean you can set the tp dev token within your environment variable of the bash which i'm running over here or within the command prompt but the most easiest way just for the explanation purpose is to actually set the token something like this using the with token method so within this all we're going to do is we are going to copy paste our token that we have within our test project which is going to be this dev token i'm just going to copy that i'm going to paste it over here and again we'll be coming back with this token setting in the environment variable while we talk about this in the ci cd platform but for now we're just setting it over here and that's it and now if i just go to my code and if I try running the same test once again, you will see that the test is going to start running on the Chrome browser. And as you can see, the Chrome browser just came up. And you can see that the test is actually running pretty much exactly the same Selenium code, but this time it is running on the test project. And while this is happening, it actually doing a lot of magic for us. You will see that our test project agent is currently up and running. And at the same time, it is also running the test on my local machine. And at the same time, it is also storing reports on the test project platform. So if you go to the monitor over here, you will see that the test actually executed, but I will show you once again. So if I try running the test from here, once I spawn the test, once the browser comes in, while the browser is loading up, you will see that. You will also see within the test project on the monitor, you will see that there is an unnamed job running, which is nothing but just running in my Apple machine. And it is trying to prepare the test, which is nothing but it is running the test, basically. And the job has been completed, which is nothing but the test has been completed successfully, which is this one. And now if I go to the report over here, you will see that the report is going to be coming up automatically. So basically the automatic reporting is already enabled over here. And you can see that the test has got successfully completed. Everything is coming for us automatically over here. So the whole reporting is coming. And you will also note that the password is currently like encrypted. It's like star, star, star. So it's not even showing the password for you over here which is quite cool. So all these things that we really require are coming up for us automatically from the test project. So that is guys, this is how you can see that we can work with the open SDK of JavaScript to create a test and run the test and even see the automatic reporting in test project. Thank you.